Hi, my name is Doug. This is my 1970 Mach 1 Mustang. Uh, picked this up about 15 years ago. And it, uh, the paint job is about the only thing that's left the same. Paint job interior. It's got a different motor. It's got a 400 horsepower 359 Cleveland now. Um, it's got uh, fresh 389 Posi, uh, C6, 2500 stall shift kit. It's uh, built to handle 600 horsepower. Hopefully we'll get there one day. Um, run uh, Australian Cleveland two barrel heads for uh, better torque. It's, uh, from right here, I'm the third owner of the car. The gentleman who uh, painted it, paint job's like 30 years old and still looks pretty good. The gentleman who painted it uh, was a professional painter years and years ago. Um, I was very fortunate to get a uh, really good deal on it. I just need, wanted something that was uh, the body and interior was nice and I'd work on the everything else. So the suspension has been worked on since I got it. The engine's different. Trans has been gone through. It's got the 17 inch wheels and tires on it. So uh, otherwise it's, it's kind of a conversation piece with the horses on the side. I wasn't that fond of the white color when I first got it, but uh, it kind of grew on me and I added this, the green DuPont Chrome Illusion stripes. Uh, they had very faint stripes on there, uh, but they do turn colors in the sun. I had a 65 Fastback before this and uh, I was anxious to get this. It took me about a year to get this. I kept continuing to call the gentleman and uh, he had moved up to Michigan and fortunately after one year of literally trying to get a hold of him, I was able to secure a really, a real bargain basement price for this car and uh, it quickly appraised for about $6,000 more than I bought it. And uh, the latest appraisal on it was I believe 35,000 stump on it. That's what it's insured for, so. But otherwise it's um, probably the longest I've ever owned any car because I usually go through cars pretty quick. But uh, they're getting the, the actual, it's the actual, actual numbers matching Mach 1. Obviously, it's like a rusto mod pretty much because of the paint job and the wheels and the motor and everything, but it is an actual numbers matching car. It's just that it's been modified. <laughs> so. All right, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.